Most writers create their documents in a standard format. In the United States, this is normally 8.5 inches wide and 11 inches tall. But many documents these days are not printed. Instead, they are viewed electronically on some type of screen, be it a freestanding monitor, a laptop computer, a tablet, or a smartphone. Because of this, documents are often exported in the PDF format. PDF stands for Portable Document Format. This is a versatile file format created by Adobe. It is now an open standard maintained by the International Organization of Standardization. PDF gives people a reliable way to present and exchange documents regardless of the software, hardware, or operating systems being used by anyone viewing the document. The document can be read on most any device, but this doesn't necessarily mean that it can be read easily. This is especially true with smartphones because of their small screen size. The print may be so small it is hard to read, or the reader may need to scroll back and forth in order to read long lines of text. Several applications offer the ability to make PDF documents change their formatting depending on the size of the viewer's screen. These products are available by subscription only. The viewer's device may also require a special application for this to work. But there are other ways to make LibreOffice Writer documents easier to read on viewer smartphones when exported to PDF. This is especially true if the writer has used styles to format the document. I have prepared a document in LibreOffice Writer to illustrate how this can be done. First, I will go to File, Export As, Export as PDF. I'll click Export. I'll navigate to a folder where I want to save this document. For save as type, I'll make sure PDF, Portable Document Format PDF, is selected. I'll name this file PDF for mobile underscore zero one. I'll click save. I'll go to my browser. I'll go to file, open file. I'll navigate to where I saved my file. I'll select PDF for Mobile 01 and click Open. The Firefox browser has a feature that simulates what a file might look like on various devices. I'll go to the menu at the upper right. I'll select More Tools. I'll select Responsive Design Mode. I'll select iPhone 11 Pro OS 14.6. Notice how small the text is. I'll click on the plus sign to increase the font size and make the text easier to read. But then I need to scroll back and forth to read each line of text. I'll go back to LibreOffice Writer and modify the styles used in the original document. Searching the internet for a solution, I found a method suggested by Adobe and others. This solution called for increasing the font size and decreasing the margins of the document before exporting as PDF. I'll demonstrate. I'll right-click on the document and select Page Style. I'll go to the Page tab. I'll change all of the margins to 0 0.25 inches. I'll click OK. I'll make sure the cursor is in the main text of the document. I'll go to the paragraph styles area of the sidebar. The text body style is highlighted. I'll right click on this and select modify. I'll go to the font tab. I'll change the font size to 26 points. This may seem huge, but you will later see why this was done. 
While still in the font tab, I'll change this serif font to a sans serif font, which will be easier to read on a small screen. I'll select Liberation Sans. I'll click OK. Next, I'll place the cursor in the heading. This uses the Heading 1 paragraph style. I'll right-click on Heading 1 and select Modify. I'll go to the Font tab. It is common practice to set headings in a different font style than the body text, so I'll set the font to Liberation Serif. I'll make sure the style is set to bold. I'll change the font size to 48 points. I'll click OK. The spacing between the heading and the body text looks a little tight, so I'll right-click on Heading 1 and select Modify. I'll go to the Indents and Spacing tab. I'll change the below paragraph spacing to 0.25 inches. You can click Apply until you get the look you want. I'll click OK. If you've used any other heading styles, you can adjust them accordingly. You should also remove any underlining in the document unless the text is a link. Finally, you may need to adjust the size and position of any images to look well with the resized text. I'll go to File, Export As, Export as PDF. I'll click Export. I'll navigate to the folder where I want to save this document. I'll make sure Save as Type is set to PDF, Portable Document Format PDF. I'll name this file PDF for Mobile 2. I'll click Save. I'll go to my browser and open a new tab. I'll go to File, Open File. I'll go to the folder where I save my file. I'll select the file and click Open. I'll go to the menu at the upper right. I'll select More Tools. I'll select Responsive Design Mode. I'll select iPhone 11 Pro OS 14.6. See how much easier this would be to read on a small screen? Now I'll go back to LibreOffice Writer once more to show you an even quicker way to make the document look better on a small screen without changing the font sizes. I'll go to File, Reload to reopen the original document. I'll right click on the document and select Page Style. I'll go to the Page tab. Like before, I'll change the margins to 0.25 inches. Now, rather than changing the font size in the paragraph styles, I'll simply change the page width to 4.00 inches. I'll click OK. You may still want to change the body text to a sans serif font in the heading to a serif font. You may still want to remove the underlying of any text that is not a link. Finally, you may want to change the size and position of any images to match the smaller width of the document. To save time, I'll just go to File, Export As, Export as PDF. I'll click Export. I'll navigate to the folder where I want to save this document. I'll make sure Save as Type is set to PDF, Portable Document Format, PDF. I'll name this file PDF for Mobile 03. I'll click Save. I'll go to my browser and open a new tab. I'll go to File. Open File. I'll go to the folder where I saved my file. I'll select the file and click Open. I'll go to the menu at the upper right. I'll select More Tools. 
I'll select Responsive Design Mode. I'll select iPhone 11 Pro OS 14.6. I'll click between the tabs so you can compare the looks of this with that of the other two PDF documents. I hope you've learned why you should consider how a person who gets your document will view it. I discuss other publishing considerations in other videos and courses. To find links to these, click more in the gray area beneath this video.